my name is Anish Kilkani. I'm a first year MBBS student from HBTMC and Cooper Hospital. Today I'll be performing uh, the total leukocyte count uh, experiment. So first we'll check the apparatus for the experiment and then we'll, I'll tell you the procedure for the experiment. So the basic things we require are spirit, some cotton, a lancet. Other than that we require Turx fluid or the white blood cell diluting fluid the Nubas chamber and the white blood cell uh, pipette. This is the improved Nubas. So the first thing we need to do is sterilize your hand to make sure that you do not get any infections. Uh, be sure to take the ring finger for, the, uh, for any pricking procedure as it is not connected to the bursa. Use the pipette and this uh, suck to take the blood inside the pipette up till the 0 0.5 mark. If any excess blood enters the, uh, the pipette, then use the palm of your hand and just tap the pipette till the blood uh, oozes out of the pipette. Then clean off uh, your hand and the tip of the pipette using a cotton. Then add the Turk fluid up till the 11 mark, which you can see here. Till here, and then uh, use the pipette and suck the uh, diluting fluid up till the 11 mark, which you can see here. Okay, now fill the diluting fluid until the 11 point. Then Roll with your palms uh, like this. the pipette as it contains mostly the diluting fluid. Then uh, take a drop here and then drop it in the new pass chamber. It will slide across the whole new pass chamber uh, due to the capillary action. Now let the slide settle for one to two minutes. After you are done charging the new bath chamber and you are done waiting for one to two minutes, uh, place the uh, new bath chamber in the, uh, on the microscope as like this. Then to count, use a 10x microscope lens. To count, place this at 10. Uh, so this is the diagram for the new bath chamber. So here, here, here and here, we count the white blood cells. So start from here uh, and uh, when you see in the microscope, whatever you see, however uh, many uh, white blood cells you see, start writing it here and then complete this whole uh, chamber. Dimensions. So the dimensions of the Nubas chamber are 1 mm of length and breadth and 0 0.1 mm of height. So the total volume comes to 0 0.1 mm per. So this is what the completed new bar chamber will uh, di diagram will look like with each uh, square uh, having some number of white blood cells which you see in the microscope. Uh, now I'll tell how the dilutin factor of 20 is achieved. So first you take a 0 0.5 ml worth of blood and then you add 11 uh, ml worth of dilutin factor. And then you discard some amount of uh, the fluid in the pipette in fluid. So if you multiply it by 2, then uh, 1 ml of the blood contains uh, 20 ml of the diluting fluid. Uh, that is why 20 uh, diluting uh, factor is up there.
सो नाउ कमिंग टू द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट सो द वॉल्यूम ऑफ ईच न्यूवर्स चेंबर इज वन इंटू वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो पॉइंट वन एम एम इज द हाइट वन एम एम वन एम एम इज द लेंथ एंड वन एम एम इज द ब्रेथ विच कम्स डाउन टू जीरो पॉइंट वन एम एम क्यूब नाउ दिस इज फॉर वन बॉक्स सो फॉर फोर बॉक्सेज इट इज गोइंग टू बी इन टू फोर विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर एम एम क्यूब ऑफ वॉल्यूम नाउ आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ डब्ल्यू बी सीज फ्रॉम दीज बॉक्सेज इट कम्स डाउन टू वन नाइन्टी एट सो इफ जीरो पॉइंट फोर एम एम क्यूब हैज़ वन नाइन्टी एट डब्ल्यू बी सीज सो वन एम एम क्यूब लेट्स टेक दिस एज एक्स सो एक्स इज गोइंग टू कम आउट एज वन नाइन्टी एट डिवाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट फोर नाउ दिस दिस पार्ट वॉन्ट गिव अस द फाइनल आंसर बिकॉज वील हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस बाई द डायल्यूटिंग फैक्टर एज वेल विच इज विच इज एक्सप्लेन बिफोर एंड हेंस आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस द टोटल नंबर ऑफ आर बी सीज विल कम डाउन एज नाइन नाइन जीरो जीरो पर एम एम क्यूब so the first question is what is the composition of wbc diluting fluid and what are the functions of each constituent uh, so the wbc diluting fluid is also known as turks fluid it contains glacial acetic acid uh, which destroys the membranes of rbc wbc and platelets the second thing it contains is methyl violet which colors the fluid and also stains the nuclei of the white blood cells and third is distilled water which is used as a solvent coming to the second question and is definition of leukocytosis leukopenia and leukemia uh, so the leukocytosis is increase in uh, wbc number leukopenia is decrease in wbc number and leukemia is excess amount of uh, white blood cells in the peripheral blood system okay the normal range of white blood cells is 4000 to 11000 Uh, so in leukocytosis uh, the range uh, the number increases above 11000 that is why it, uh, it is increase in white blood cells number that is leukocytosis second is leukopenia in it uh, the white blood cell decreases below 4000 and third is leukemia in which the white blood cell count increases well above 50000 question 3 is enumerate the causes of phys- physiological leukocytosis uh, the physiological causes are one pregnancy or menstruation for women second is muscular exercise uh, third is diurnal variation and the fourth is puberty pathological causes of leukocytosis uh, pathological causes of uh, leukocytosis are acute and chronic infection uh, the allergic reactions and leukemia the pyogenic bacterial infection is the most common cause of increase in white blood cells that is leukocytosis question number pathological causes of leukopenia uh, typhoid fever sulfur drugs and uh, irradiation and then uh, where are the wbcs produced in the body uh, the wbcs are produced in the bone marrow okay. what is the function of this bead in the bulb uh, the first function is it aids in mixing of the blood with diluent the secondly it helps in identifying the pipette as you can see the bead is white in color so it is for the white blood cells and third it tells whether the pipette is dry or not in a dry pipette the bead will uh, go around freely but in a wet pipette it will stick to the surface and will not uh, move around freely so now we'll discuss the possible sources of error and how to minimize them one of the sources of error is uh, if the pipette is wet then uh, clean and dry the pipette okay and uh, second source of error is if blood is uh, sucked beyond the 0.5 mark and tap it against your palm to go below the 0.5 mark and uh, if there is formation of air bubbles while sucking of blood well prick the hand carefully and then suck the bulb and then if if there is sedimentation of rbcs in the bulb roll the uh, pipette in your palms uh, to mix the blood and uh, fluid well and why do we need to discard the first few drops of rbc because they mostly contain the diluting fluid so that's it for the white blood count uh, experiment thank you for listening to us